Hey everybody! Uh, sorry it's been so long since my last video, I've just been really busy. Um, but I've been dying to make this video. Um, just a quick update. We were talking about this lock here, and um, I haven't made it any farther on it. So, just so you know, I haven't stopped working on it. I just, um, I, like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to work on locks, and I've been really busy at work. And uh, every time I do kind of look at this, I can't find what the next secret is so I'm still working on that try to get it uh, try to get it to make sure the inner workings are are okay before I start it on the key so um, I I think it has something to do with back here but I still haven't freed that up yet so I still been working on that and haven't forgot about this and uh, hopefully I'll have something else to tell you guys soon but uh, I, I do have a, a pretty cool video lined up here um, I just got reminded of this actually by lockpicking Lebowski. Um, I don't know if um, you guys watch his videos or are subscribed to him, but if you're not, you definitely should. He just did a really cool video on these uh, JBMKL uh, Kentco locks, and um, I believe it's JB Miller uh, is what the is what the uh, JBM stands for. Um, but watch his video. He'll he explains a lot better, and he actually has ones that he has one that he has a combination for too. So um, these work kind of like that uh, New York insurance lock that I showed you guys. They get a focus back on that. Um, they work off of clicks. As you can see, there's no number. It's a combination lock, and as you can see, there's no numbers. And uh, some of them, or most of them, have a stopping point where it won't go any further. And that's kind of like your zero. And then you go a couple clicks this way, a couple clicks that way, a couple clicks this way. And they can be anything, anywhere from two, I believe, to five or six numbers, I'm told. Um, they've got combination codes on them. And uh, on uh, there was a forum I was reading that someone was someone had a book on these. But... Uh, I didn't have very much cloud at that forum, so I didn't want to start asking people for favors right off the bat. So, and plus, I kind of want to crack them myself. But anyway, like I said, these are are pretty cool. Um, uh, I've been told they 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 were used uh, to be able to open them in the dark or in really low light situations because you know you won't be able to see you won't be able to see any of the numbers you know if you don't have the light. So you just kind of operate off the clicks and then. Um, then it opens. Um, I know these are extremely difficult to crack, but not impossible. There's a uh, there's a thread on these uh, by I believe it's Oldfast on KeyPicking.com, and um, he's cracked a few of these by using sound. He actually hooked a microphone up to the back of it and used sound. And I guess there's a different, you know, you hear those, you can you can hear those clicks or should be able to. Um, but anyway, you can use sound because I guess it sounds different when it goes past a gate or something like that. And I don't think these are your typical wheel um, wheel pack locks um, from what I understand. I've looked at the patent on them, and it's kind of hard to see, which leads us to this guy right here. I bought this one. Since I, since I got this one, I've probably gotten three or four more just because it's so intriguing and so fun to play with. And one of these days, I'd like to come up with a foolproof, easy way to crack them, but haven't come up with that yet. And to my knowledge, Old Fest isn't hasn't either, and he is like the best cracker, like like a combination lock cracker I've ever seen. So, um, but hopefully he comes up with something too. Save me the trouble. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I got this Master Special at an antique store. I think it was like seven bucks, seven or eight bucks. And uh, anyway, I thought it was kind of cool because it says Master Special, and I never seen one said that. And this one just says patent pending or patent applied for versus. This one here, you know, that has the patent numbers on it. So this one's probably older than the other one. But when I got it, the wheels wouldn't spin. The, or the, the dial wouldn't spin. And I thought, well, uh, you know, maybe a lot of times when people get frustrated with these when they hit that stopping point, they assume that it's uh, broken or something like that or jammed up. So they'll put a pair of, you know, vice grips or channel locks on there and they'll try to open that thing. Then they'll get all jammed up. So I was thinking maybe that's what happened. But uh, turns out... They snap the whole, they snap the whole wheel off, or the whole dial off. So, um, and then they super glue it back on before they sold it. <laughs> so I got, I got a trick lock there, and um, so I thought this would be an awesome opportunity 
to actually open one of these up. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, grind off these rivets. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna find out exactly how they work. Like I said, the 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 uh, as far as I know now, there's like a maze, and when you turn it, there's a you know there's a, like a there's a uh, for lack of a better term. Or I guess there's a there's something that goes up through the through the maze until finally you get to the open position. So um, I don't understand it myself. So we're gonna look at this and we're just gonna physically determine how this works. So I'm gonna go over to my grinder and we're gonna grind off these rivets and uh, should be able just to split it uh, right right down that seam. So let's go over there and start working on this. And by the way, uh, like I said, I tried everything to save this lock, so I'm not just cutting open this old beautiful lock. Uh, for a YouTube video or or whatever, it's more for research. It's more just so people can see, you know, uh, novices like me and and uh, other people just starting out. They can see how these locks tick, and who knows, maybe that'll help. That'll help somebody open it. I don't know, but um, we're gonna do it. So uh, I'm gonna set up over on the grinder, and uh, we're gonna check this out. crack it open then we're gonna look and see what all the parts do so uh, here we go okay so we've got it cracked now and uh, Time to see what makes this thing tick. Or what's inside here anyway. Huh. Like I said, we're both seeing this for the first time. And it looks like this here uh, does something. <laughs> and this here. And if you look here, it's got some kind of I don't know if that's paint or what, but um, this must be what makes the click. And then this here, um, that must be the stopping point on your, or no, this this must be make the click here. Um, actually, now that we've seen everything, I'm going to take a look now so I don't sound like a bumbling fool for several minutes and uh, look at what everything does and I'll be right back and uh, we'll discuss it in just a second so hang on just a second okay so we're gonna go through just the basic parts first so you got your shackle here this spring here just keeps downward tension on this it doesn't lift up or push down on it it just pushes it against this wheel and uh, this spring here assists with the stopping point of the, you know how you, when you turn it and hit that stopping point, like on this one, that's what you're, that's, that assists with that. You, you also have one here, which we'll see in a few minutes or seconds. Uh, this here is your uh, spring j that just uh, gives your shack, it pops your shackle and then snaps it back down. It's kind of a two way spring, pretty cool. And this spring here, this spring here just goes down in here and it fits in these. There's little grooves here in the wheels, and that's what gives you your click. See where those are right there. But, uh, man, I've been messing with this for probably about a half an hour, and now I finally know what's going on. So um, let's take a look here. I'm trying to get the best view here because uh, it has to lay, or since it's all taken apart, it has to lay flat. Originally, you wouldn't have had to do that. But... Uh, Sorry about that. My phone ran out of bad or excuse me, memory. Uh, of all things, so I had to delete a few things. Okay, so back to where we were. This here um, has a little needle on it. It's it's like a record needle almost. See that? But anyway, this needle rides in these 
little little grooves here or uh, little uh, grooves in the dial. So basically to hit our stopping point, this one actually has two stopping points that I can see. Um, but anyway, there's a stopping point and then that takes you down to the, like, the starting point. And that would be uh, where you would start. You know, you'd spin to here, you'd probably spin to here and then and then uh, start up. So anyway, if you watch this, this is so cool. Um, this one only takes two moves to open, and I'm starting to think that maybe a couple of the numbers in the combination could be arbitrary, just to make it seem harder than it is, and I'll show you why here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to spin this, and you can just watch the needle, or you can watch the needle follow those tracks and rise up. See how it does that all on its own? And there's no magnets or anything like that. This is all just... And you can see it gets to this point here. So now that is the first stopping point. That's where your clicks would take you to. So we get up to the highest point there. Then we come back this way and see how it stays there. So now it's going to drop down. Okay. But that's going to take you past your stopping point. See, there's your stopping point there. It's going to go above that now all by itself. See how it jumps up there? Then it's going to go up to here. And that would open the lock because this pawl here pushes on this on the on the shackle. This is what keeps the shackle closed. This would push up on this just enough to get that shackle to swing up. Okay? So that's how it works. Now let me show you. Like I said, that was only two moves. And you're probably saying, but hey, all these have four combo four combo numbers. But honestly, I think some of them are arbitrary. Uh, for instance, let me show you. So we're going to go back to the starting point here. So let's say it told you to go three clicks this way, or four clicks. Let's say that's four clicks. Then you go three clicks back this way, and that would take you to here. And then you go maybe six clicks this way, and that would take you to here. And then you go four or two clicks this way, let's say, here, and then three clicks back, back to here. And then uh, five clicks this way. You know, something like that. And then, uh, you know, two clicks this way. Uh, and, then, and then six more clicks this way or something like that. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Back to start. But anyway, you kind of see what I mean. Um, so this would spin to here, and there could be, you know, two or three wheel movements in there between there. So it goes to there, then it goes down again, and then it catches that groove and goes up, and that would be your unlocking, unlocked position. So that's how it works. I don't know if that's going to help anybody with... Uh, with cracking these because <laughs> um, I'm sure they're all different. I'm sure these wheels are all different. This wheel is really cool. Let me pop that out of there too. I don't know what this these stamps are on here. I cleaned it out real good. I don't know what these stamps are, or what they mean. If anyone knows, feel free to fill me in. But they've got these weird stamps. Like this one looks like it had some cross outs. Maybe it was an accident or something like that. And there's a messed up or who knows? Maybe they built these out of scrap since this is an old you know, before they were patented or anything like that. So anyway, um, hopefully this answers a lot of questions and hopefully, um, for me, it just gives me more questions and stuff like that. But I just thought it would be really cool to see what goes on inside these locks since they're starting to become more popular now, uh, just cause they're so cool. I'm really happy about that. Hopefully somebody finds a really easy way to crack these or, uh, hopefully I can find like an old code book for one on eBay or at a flea market or something. That would be awesome. And then I would have all the combinations for them based on the, uh, f you know, four or five digit code on the shackle. Uh, but anyway, so that wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions or any, any requests or anything like that, if you, any, you know, you need to look at anything else, you want me to show you anything else I didn't show you on this, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll, and I'll try to make a follow-up video. But anyway, uh, like I said, <laughs> I don't get excited very often about locks. Well, actually, I do. I, I get excited all the time about locks <laughs> whenever I learn something new. But this is really, really neat. So um, so now you can kind of tell what's going on inside there when you hear those clicks and, and uh, when you feel those stopping points and all that stuff. So I uh, hope you liked the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.